the torpedo that sunk the Chunun and took the lives of 46 South Korean sailors was fired by a North Korean submarine. North Korea's weapons program continues to intensify. Now surpassed 1,000 missiles. Global leaders express concern over North Korea's latest atomic test. Kim Jong-il's government strongly defended its recent atomic test as a rightful response to Western aggression. The president appeared at the UN to call for severe sanctions against North Korea. This morning comes the news of Kim Jong-il's death. North Koreans greet their new supreme leader, Kim Jong-il's son, Kim Jong-un. Today, our beloved leader, Kim Jong-un, has united North and South Korea, forming the Greater Korean Republic. Talks to end the Saudi-Iran war have stalemated once again. Meanwhile, damaged oil wells and pipelines burn uncontrollably, deeply affecting world supplies. Although costs at the pump are ready to break the dreaded $20 ceiling... The only good communist is a dead communist! Across the nation, civil unrest has intensified with the demise of the U.S. dollar. This is not a retreat, nor are we abandoning our Asian allies. Under threat of annihilation by the Greater Korean Republic, Japan has surrendered. Martial law is now in effect. Excessive force will be used. Hours after the president ordered a freeze on bank withdrawals. We don't know where we will get our next meal from. The Mexican government has imposed strict immigration quotas, effectively closing its borders to American refugees. Koreans' annexation continues to spread despite the U.S. Today, the Greater Korean Republic launched their latest communication satellite, claiming it will bring a message of peace to the entire world.